Have you ever wondered about the everyday miracles that power your digital life? Think about it. Every time you stream a movie, edit a document, or dive into an intense gaming session, your personal computer is working behind the scenes, processing billions of calculations per second. But how does it all come together? What hidden magic makes that sleek laptop or sturdy desktop such a powerful tool? Today, we're cracking open the mystery of how a personal computer actually works, uncovering the mechanics that bring your digital world to life. And more importantly, we'll explore how understanding your PC can unlock a new level of independence, whether it's troubleshooting issues, upgrading hardware, or even building your own dream machine from scratch. Get ready to see your computer in a whole new light. Let's dive in right here on History of Simple Things. All right, so let's start with the brain of the operation, the CPU, or Central Processing Unit. This little chip, usually hidden under a cooling fan, is what processes all the instructions that keep your computer running. Think of it like your brain making decisions based on the information it gets. When you click on an app, type on your keyboard, or move your mouse, the CPU is the one interpreting those actions and executing commands at lightning fast speeds. The faster the CPU, the quicker your tasks get done. Modern CPUs have multiple cores, which means they can handle several tasks at the same time, kind of like a multitasking pro. This is why a computer with more cores tends to perform better when running multiple programs at once. So next time your PC slows down, you might want to check if your CPU is being overworked. Now let's talk about memory, because without it, your computer wouldn't remember anything. But here's where it gets a little tricky. There are two main types of memory in your personal computer. RAM and storage. RAM, or random access memory, is like your computer's short-term memory. It holds data temporarily while your CPU is working on it. The more RAM you have, the more programs your computer can run smoothly at the same time. Ever wonder why your computer slows down when you open too many tabs? That's because your RAM is running out of space. On the other hand, Storage is where your files, programs, and operating system live. Traditionally, computers used HDD or hard disk drives, which are mechanical and slower. But now, SSD or solid-state drives have taken over because they are much faster and more reliable. Upgrading from an HDD to an SSD is one of the best ways to speed up an older computer. Then, Let's take a look at the motherboard. If the CPU is the brain, then the motherboard is the nervous system. It connects all the components together so they can communicate and work as one. The CPU, RAM, storage, graphics card, and all other parts plug into the motherboard, and it manages how they interact. It also houses essential chips that control different functions, like audio, networking, and input-output ports. When choosing a motherboard, it's important to make sure it's compatible with your CPU and has enough slots for the upgrades you might want in the future. A good motherboard gives you flexibility, so if you ever decide to upgrade, you won't be limited by your hardware. Then there's come the exciting part, the visual. If you've ever played video games, edited videos, or worked with 3D design, you've probably heard about GPUs, or graphics processing units. The GPU is responsible for rendering everything you see on your screen. While most CPUs come with built-in graphics, a dedicated graphics card is a game changer, especially if you're into gaming or creative work. Unlike CPUs, which focus on general tasks, GPUs are specialized in handling graphical data, making them much more efficient for tasks like video rendering, gaming, and even AI processing. 
If your computer struggles with graphics-heavy applications, upgrading your GPU might be the best solution. All this processing power generates heat, and that's where cooling comes in. Your computer has built-in fans, heat sinks, and sometimes even liquid cooling systems to keep the components from overheating. The CPU and GPU are the two biggest heat producers, which is why they have dedicated cooling solutions. If your computer is running hot, it might slow down or even shut down to protect itself. That's why it's important to clean out dust from your PC and make sure it has good airflow. Overheating can cause long-term damage, so don't ignore it. Now, hardware is just one part of the equation. Your operating system, Windows, Mac OS, or Linux, is what brings everything together. It acts as the interface between you and your hardware, allowing you to run programs, manage files, and customize your experience. The OS also handles security, making sure that viruses and malware don't mess up your system. Keeping your operating system updated is crucial, not just for new features, but for security patches that protect your data. Of course, a computer isn't just about what's inside, it's also about how you interact with it. Your keyboard, mouse, monitor, and even your printer are all peripherals that enhance your experience. Choosing the right peripherals can turn a basic computer setup into a powerhouse workstation tailored to your needs. Finally, let's talk about connectivity. Your computer is only as useful as the data it can access, and networking is what makes that possible. Whether through Wi-Fi or a wired Ethernet connection, your PC connects to the Internet, allowing you to browse, stream, and communicate with the world. So, why does all of this matter? Well, the more you understand how your computer works, the more control you have over it. Instead of relying on tech support for every little issue, you can troubleshoot problems yourself. And there you have it, an inside look at how your personal computer works. Hopefully this breakdown makes it easier for you to understand what's happening inside your machine and how you can take better care of it. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.